good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Carmen Cavallo, R&D Senior Leader of the Porto Characterization at FOM. Uh, my mention at the moment is to lead the part of uh, characterization and anode material. This means that the R&D that is just growing here at FOM is having uh, the head and all the leaders under that they, they, they manage the part. Uh, my, <laughs> my background, but a bit complicated. I'm from south of Italy, so I'm really happy to be back in a sort of a sequel because I started in uh, 2012. Uh, my story after my master decided to move on solar and battery. So I did a PhD in work in tandem system in between Sapienza University, Stanford University in US and Ulich Forschungszentrum in Germany. After that, I've been uh, traveling a bit around. So we talk about Sweden, Norway, Australia, Japan, where I work in uh, energy storage system. So mostly anode, reason why today I'm here. And, and I work on, uh, on the R&D level more or less everywhere. A bit of company, a bit of uh, academia. Uh, I still have some uh, PhD students around in uh, Norway that they are finishing their uh, study. Uh, our job is very challenging and but also very uh, inspiring. So today, exactly today, 5th of uh, March, it's been three months I'm at FAM. How did I end up here? Well, I embrace the goal of FAM. FAM is, uh, I guess, is having a very good idea of uh, being the first south of Italy plant and the first one wanted to do a gigafactory, a real gigafactory, because this is the first time in my life that I end up in a reality in which the R&D comes after the production. So this place here is up running on 0.3 gigawatt hour every day. And that's something that it's not really that you find everywhere in the world. There are a lot of companies now that are claiming of building gigafactories. It's not the, the, the case of FAM. FAM is already running. We already have customers. And the idea of being part of the energy revolution for green plants with LFP graphite, it's great. Everyday FAM is quite challenging place. Uh, having an R&D that is starting after a production, it's, it's not usual. So every day we need to deal with a lot of problem on the production side level and uh, we have to try to find a solution that match a big factory already up running without losing the time. So when you think about R&D, you think always about people, they're there thinking about science, writing down notes. It's not the case of FAM. We are a very dynamic group. We need to find solution every day and that's very challenging because uh, other groups are quite in their own tempo while farm is up running with a the speed they need to keep going if we want to keep our customer needs uh, if someone is asking me my mom asked me oh my god after you told me you were in australia in japan in sweden and norway how did you end up again in south of italy did you miss home well of course yes this is a of course, as always, yes. I'm so proud for the first time to bring my knowledge to a South of Italy company. First one aiming at having a gigafactory in the southern part of Europe. But it's not only for that. When the first time I heard about FAM, I wasn't a bit skeptical at the beginning, I have to be honest. Because I was like, hmm, that looks like so much someone that is bragging a bit around. But it wasn't the case because the goal is clear. We are going for LFP and graphite in a green economy water base. So it's something that if it works, it will be a huge challenge in the economy of battery in 2025. So building Teverola 2 that is at the part back of this building, it's something that I can see every day. So I'm really happy. Of course, it's challenging. Of course, you will not always see me in this shape, but always with my dirty hand try to solve problem. But this is part of the game, no? So it's uh, what we like here, FAM. And it's also, you know, I like to see FAM as a short for family because it's something that keeps us together a lot. So I, I'm, I'm really happy. I want to see, we can talk in a couple of years when we will have the revolution already started. Every day uh, it's, as I say, a bit challenging, but it's also nice then to live in a 
sunny countryside because when you finish working you go to the seaside you enjoy your moment you have time for yourself so i love being passionate about um, uh, fitness on the countryside. I love hiking uh, here. The beauty of Italy is the seaside and the mountains all in the same country. I love trekking. Uh, I love a lot cooking, which is also make very good for being friends together and having wow food in, uh, in Italy. So um, these are my main hobby activity while I'm not working and a bit science. I consider science also a bit of my hobby. I embrace it as a, as a style life, like energy and renewable energy in particular is something I've always been passionate. I'm a chemistry, but I'm green chemistry. I don't want people associate chemistry with someone that is just polluting the, the sea. You can see here, you can see no smoke around. We do everything green based. So yes, this is also part of the hobby life.